Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today we're going to be taking on Dr. Terror with all warriors. My troops are still training up, but that shouldn't make it too much of a difference right now. I actually have some good news for you guys. I got some like soundproof walls here, so I uh, man-made walls, of course. Not like super walls or anything, just like little sticks that holding up something. So I'm going to be doing a room tour soon, or more like a desk tour of of my desk because I I have a lot of good awesome setup gear that I uh, got and I obtained over the years um, so it should be pretty nice I'm looking at them now it just it is I, I could tell a difference I could see a difference I could hear a difference just through my ears so yes so I'm moving into the base here I'm taking out the HQ I'm just gonna do it with barrages guys I'm in artillery I'm just gonna do a barrages on artillery I'm actually doing the sound over this once again because I didn't realize my mic was on mute um, but that should make too much of a difference in this video okay so I didn't lose any troops I just did that first stage mostly on artillery so that shouldn't be a problem the second stage we're gonna also do with artillery guys and that also shouldn't be too much of a problem because until we start getting the health and damage boost, I'm not, I could always take them out with artillery. That's my, my logo. Okay, so, unless it's like an HQ 1920, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so, uh, tier stage 2 goes down. I didn't lose any troops. They didn't even place any troops on this stage, which is awesome. Okay, so, uh, hopefully we'll get some prototype. Nope, I'm, I, I need more prototype, guys. I want, I want more of those marshmallow sticks because... I need one more for Shock Blaster 3, and I have been trying to get one for so long. You guys have no idea. So now we're jumping on TSJ 3. Um, this one, we should be able to do this with just all critters, guys. Um, but we'll, let's do this with artillery, actually. Um, no, uh, this is too high. I didn't see the damage boost. Okay, so we're placing down our critters, guys. Hopefully, we'll be able to take this down. Um, the critters don't heal over time which is like the warriors which kind of stinks but they should be able to do the same job as the warriors here the mortar is just barely not t killing them and now it's gonna kill them big comp boom i like the skulls it like it's just like there's so many good graphics in boom beach guys that's what i like about it there's just such good graphics now okay so tear stage two goes oh no tear stage three goes down um now we're gonna be jumping on to tear stage four we didn't get any fragments which kind of stinks Okay, guys, we're jumping on to tear stage four right now. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to get a prototype module on this one, guys. I don't know, though. I don't know for sure. Um, okay, so we're going to be taking down the boom mine just in case there is something that is going to kill me. Okay, we're just going to be flying to the power cell here or whatever they're called, the power outlet. That's what it kind of looks like, a power outlet. Um, and once we're on it, we're going to be flying to the HQ, go straight to the HQ. My smoke should, end up, should have enough time. Actually, let's fly to the. We're gonna fly to a rocket launcher, guys, because the HQ is kind of a long ways away, and the crew gets pretty, pretty spread out pretty fast. So, we're on the HQ, test stage four. Hopefully, we won't. Hopefully, we won't lose any troops for this. Okay, the smoke is just about to wear off. Okay, we're gonna place two shocks, and we're gonna place some med kits on our on our warriors. The shock launcher isn't gonna latch on, which is good. Um, let's place a bunch of critters or a box of critters just to help take down the base. Here we go. Tear stage 4 goes down. Prototype module. Come on, man. Come on. Nope. No prototype module. I did get intel, which is good because I need as much intel as I possibly as I possibly can get. Okay, so tear stage 4 goes down. Now we're moving on to tear stage 5. Only a few tear stages left. Um, okay, so we probably could go from the right side here, but I'm gonna go from the left. I'm gonna try to uh, beat the base from the left. It shouldn't be too much of a problem, guys. Hopefully, we'll be able to do it. So I did take out that one boom mine there. Let's fill it to this uh, flamethrower. The bad thing about this type of base is the smoke and abilities take so long to come out just because my gumbo is on the other side of the beach. See, um, it's way over there. So it's going to take a very long time for the abilities to go. So I need to kind of pre-fire them a little. And I'm still learning that. I just kind of realized that, that that's why it took so long. Like I always realized it took a long time. But then today I was like, finally clicked for me. Why is it taking this long? And I figured out why. Also, it's because it's, it's like... It's in the base, so like I think the HQ is gonna be the farthest to come. So I need to like I need to pre-fire more in order to beat it. 
Okay, so I'm gonna start shocking. I only have enough for two shocks. And this boom cannon is gonna tear apart my troops here, guys. Okay, so I did not notice the shock launcher down on the bottom left side, but we still are gonna beat the base now. I did lose about one, two, three, four, five, seven troops. I did lose seven troops, which kind of stinks. So I'm gonna have to retrain those troops. Okay, so test stage five goes down. Give me those fragments, kid. Give me those fragments. Okay, here we go. Yep, got three fragments. I did lose seven, which is that proves my math skills are correct. Okay, so we jumped up our troops, and now I'm moving on to Terra Stage 6. Okay, so this is when it's going to start getting hard. There are a lot of mines. I did boost up my Gumball Energy, and I definitely, definitely needed that Gumball Energy. Okay. I could have took down that boom cannon and that other cannon with artillery. I probably should have just because if you guys think about it, five energy and I get three, six, I could have gained one energy if I took them out. And not only that is, not only that, but it also will give me, um, it will take away some of the DPS in my troops. Okay, here we go. We're on the sniper tower. We're going to be flaring to the HQ. There are a few mines around the HQ, but that shouldn't make too much of a difference. Um, some of my guys are walking off, and I did get pretty damaged, so I got a medkit down on them right away. Um, my smoke is almost wearing off, guys. Uh, let's see what we're going to shock against. Like, we're going to shock the boom cannons, the cannons, the mortars, and the snuff towers up top. Basically, everything around the HQ. I should have placed a critter boat instead of medkits, because so they can tank, and they won't all be, the boom cannons won't be hooked on to our... Uh, won't be hooked onto the troops. So I did lose about seven troops again. Hopefully, I'll get my mass skills correct. I did lose about seven troops again, which is pretty good for Terra Stage 6. One time I beat it all without losing a troop. Um, I got to Terra Stage 7 without losing a troop. That's what I meant. So Terra Stage 6 goes down. I did get a crystal just because it is before the very last one, and it did get an intel, which is awesome. Need as much intel as possible. Okay, so Terra Stage 7. This Terra Stage is very hard, guys. I didn't notice how hard this was until I attacked it and I failed. So let's take out these boom mines. We're going to be flying to the boom cannon here, placing down all my warriors on the beach. And then we're just going to do free smoke and that smoke on the far right. I just did that just to keep my troops concealed so they won't go out of the smoke. Um, because if you guys know, if they go out of the smoke, they're going to get damaged and that's going to hurt you later. That's going to hurt you a lot. So. We are on the HQ, we're going to be shocking the boom cannons, the cannons, the mortars, and basically everything around the HQ again. We're not going to beat at this battle though, guys. I'm going to learn a lot. Um, but snap, my, all my shocks were pretty late. And as you see there, I did shock a lot of my troops down on the beach. And that uh, shock launcher fired a few hits on me. So, overall, not a very clean attack. I did, I did not pass the attack. I did fail. And... I could have played it a ton better if I used critters instead of smoke. There we go. Shocking my troops. Okay, add another fail. Add another fail to my book. Okay, so Tear Stage 7, I am attacking it again for the second time. I cost 96 gems to gym up my troops. That's just insane. I spent 150 gems on this video. 160 diamonds. It's just like, whoa, that's a lot of diamonds. <laughs> And if people fail a lot. So I'm trying a different strategy here on the base. I'm going from the left hand side and I'm just gonna curve, just curve in from the, just curve into the right. That way it's gonna keep a lot of my troops concealed and I'm not gonna use nearly as much smoke as leaning on a corner of the beach. So I'm on the boot, I'm on the mortar, there we go. And I'm um, smoking to our HQ. I only used five smoke into the entire raid and only two flares instead of like eight smoke and two flares. So that definitely saved me a lot of energy. I have like 10 extra energy, or no, even like more. I'm like 15 extra energy, I'm shocking everything. Doing a lot better. I could have placed a critter boat instead of a med kit on the HQ. Okay, so my warriors are taking it out. We're gonna beat the base, but it's gonna be very, 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 very close. <laughs> okay, so the shock launcher got in there and everything is just hitting my tubes. And like at this point, it's just like everything is hitting and they won't take me out the base and then they just took it out. So I have like six troops left. 
which is <laughs> so close. And I was like freaking out because I, I didn't, I, if I failed again, I would have had to stop the video. But that's it for this video, guys. Guys, I got a prototype module, which is good. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Remember, there's a Dr. Tail playlist down in the description down below. So go check that out. Till then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.